Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sergio Anglisano speaking. We are from Italian channel, Napoli News Magazine TV channel. We are today here with Mr. Matteo Giroletti, which is a gentleman coming from Milan, North Italy. And at one, we want to ask, ask him a lot of important questions about cancer. So then we are with Mr. Matteo Giroletti, as we say, he came from Milan, North Italy. Uh, welcome uh, on board, Mr. Giroletti. Uh, did you have uh, uh, something important to tell us about your illness? Uh, yeah, uh, actually we, we saw, uh, the, the news is that uh, we saw that on last biopsy I did, we saw that uh, treating uh, this uh, local tumor uh, biosome, uh, it worked uh, really good and the biopsy was uh, negative. So ozone injected directly in the bones worked uh, very well. That's the news. So when did you find out that uh, you have got a cancer? For, well, my history started three, around three years ago. On, the, on December 2015 and I started with a nasopharyngeal cancer third stage so I had a mass, a tumoral mass in my head, in my nose around five centimeters and uh, I did the normal, the, the, the gold standard therapy so chemo and radio together after, after that, after four months of therapy, I was in remission from this illness for around 11 months. And then on May 2016, I discovered that I had a recidive and I was metastatic in my bones. Can you tell us what kind of cancer you have? Uh, nasopharyngeal cancer is a, it's, it's a not so common in, uh, in Europe, it's more common in uh, South Asia. It's a cancer that is <coughs> developing itself in, uh, in the nose, in the uh, high part of the throat, and it's connected with a vi virus that is called Epstein-Barr, uh, Epstein-Barr virus or EBV and uh, the, the immunity, immunity system is not uh, able to, to manage it e any, anymore, and so it starts to develop uh, cancer. So this cancer has got a familiarity in your family, and uh, probably you have to tell us about your father. Yes, my father was uh, fought, uh, sick uh, one year before me. He died on uh, last January, so on January 2018. And uh, he had a local uh, recurrence. Instead of me, that I became metastatic, I had another relative involved in this uh, situation. Now uh, she's good, uh, luckily. And uh, so in our case, it's quite uh, evident that is familiar or there is something wrong in our genome. So you have played the normal cycle of chemo and radiotherapy and what result you have got? Oh, initially I had a uh, good result. I, I was in remission for 11 months. I was feeling quite well for some months and then I started to feel sick and then I had I got the evidence that uh, I was really bad because I had the pain in my bones, in my spine. And so the diagnostic by image uh, put, uh, made an evidence of uh, my real uh, state. And uh, so we discovered those metastases uh, around, about, uh, everywhere in my skeleton. So, uh, the prognosis was very, very, very bad. Uh, it was, they were talking about uh, seven, uh, 24 months of a life. And this is uh, in, the in the literature. And also a specialist told me 
this. So, something like really awful, short, short, short life. Yeah, short life and a very bad quality life and uh, pain, dying with, with pain because of bones. Um, uh, what is great in this gentleman is that he start to study by himself and find out something new in a, a kind of a personal research. What did you discover studying? Well, uh, I, I try to, to study to find out some solutions uh, on PubMed, the International Library of uh, Papers, of Medicine International Papers. I discovered some substances, some things that could help me somehow in uh, trying to find out uh, a solution. And uh, I discovered that in many, many waterfalls or cascades of uh, events, it was involved. It was involved the oxygen. So in my researches, I found out uh, a really, really recent uh, research by uh, Longo, mm -hmm. and I was uh, happy of it because uh, it was Italian. So it would be more easy to try to keep in contact to. to entering contact and keeping contact with this uh, researcher. It was quite easy because I discovered a, the fa this family, I would say, because uh, Carlo, Professor Carlo Longo and his daughter uh, Margherita, I discovered they opened a foundation, a um, non-profit foundation, uh, with, uh, with a mission to help uh, uh, pe chronic patients uh, through Italy, so it was. Uh, I, I was uh, very lucky, and it was quite easy. And I started to 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 practice to the, the oxygen. And so then, while uh, you made your research, you find out uh, the foundation Amorum Lus Maria Guarino. Uh, made by Dr. Carlo Luongo and Margherita Luongo, and then you start your new therapy is a, a kind of a new experience, therapeutic, but also scientific. Yeah, uh, I started uh, on generally this therapy, uh, initially a systemic, a systemic therapy uh, using uh, uh, rectal insufflations, so this methodic uh, to deliver oxygen and ozone. Uh, it helped me really well uh, in the management of my blood levels and uh, in the management of pain because pain in bones is quite, uh, how to say, it's quite annoying. And uh, in, do in these uh, fields, I reached uh, uh, important results quite immediately. And then uh, I did, uh, I did my follow-up uh, and I discovered some uh, lesions in my bones again. And so I decided to move uh, here in Naples to try a treatment, uh, looking for two goals. Mm -hmm. One is uh, about uh, the viral uh, load of Epstein-Barr virus, so try to find out a solution about these virus. And we know that ozone is uh, has is a powerful uh, antiviral. And then the other goal uh, we, we we were looking for it was to to see if ozone uh, injected locally is uh, working against uh, cancer cells. And so that, that's why that's why I'm here. Okay. What kind of results you find out after your first cycle of uh, ozonotherapy? About uh, the Epstein-Barr virus, we are uh, uh, keeping uh, under uh, keeping it under control. We are uh, uh, following it up, and about uh, the cancer lesions, we saw that uh, mm, it worked. It worked because I did a biopsy recently and the injection of uh, ozone 
in the bones. It's quite painful, but it worked uh, very well. And so I, the doctors, they took uh, me out around one centimeter of bone. So it should be uh, right that there is no cancer left in that uh, region of my body. So, actually, we can tell that your cancer is spit it out. Well, uh, we, we are sure that in that part of my body, uh, ozone worked and there is no cancer left there. Then we know also that cancer is a systemic uh, illness and we, we have to keep it under control. But the, the important news to, to tell uh, everyone is that the ozone, uh, first of all, it, it's really helpful in the management of cancer disease. And then uh, the news of this interview will say that it's working if it's injected directly in the lesion. So it deserves uh, further studies, in my opinion. So, we can tell now that cancer, this is a question very important and I'm asking to you, that it's uh, not anymore an alternative therapy, but it's a real therapy against cancer. Yeah, I would say that it's, um, it's a weapon that uh, doctors, they should uh, consider more... Uh, uh, Mm, as an effective cure, as an effective uh, treatment, as an, mm, an effective uh, weapon to use, to spend uh, in cancer management. I would say that it's, in, in my case, it, it's worth it. Okay, very positive. Thank you, Mr. Giroletti, for your interview. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is a really positive uh, interview inside of one we are Mr. Giroletti that is uh, probably out of a big big illness we are talking about cancer cancer probably fighting with oxygen ozonotherapy the winner is the oxygen ozonotherapy for Napoli News Magazine Sergio Angrisano Thank you.